Good to go. Oh. So, I'm sorry, Prince. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can I, I was told that you are not just an ordinary indigen of this time, but rather you are a, the son, the real, the true son of the soil. Can you, can you, I don't know, I was there, some people were picking, is a prince, some were saying he's a king, he's making, can, can you just please clarify this for us? Alright, um, like I said, I'm from a factory, my dad happens to come from the Aladdin Mamiru Lin house, my mom is from the Low Laimo family in Ibero. And the space we have is my father is the king currently on the throne in town. So that makes me one of the many principal kings as Aaron. Thank you very much. Please, what are we doing today? I can see the freezing, the bubbling, the frenzy atmosphere. You know, the time is going gaga, there is joy, celebration in the air. Please, what is really happening today? All right. I would like to begin to respond to that answer by actually giving a brief introduction to the Faki entity as a thing. In fact, it's made up of four quarters in Guilogbe, Igwe and Ilero. And since we have actually season festivals. Actually, most of them are annually. It comes once in a year. And Okorogo is one of the many festivals we have in town. Okorogo festival uh, actually, up, up and comes up most on in September, in most most years. Actually, some months, some years it can be in August, but rarely August, mostly in September. And in quarter and in the quarter, up, up, there are different Okorogo festivals. Actually, the Iwere festival seems to be the most popular, but that does not make the Okorogo one any less important. The oh, both festivals actually pull crowd. We have people coming from neighboring communities to actually witness the festival. What is the Koro Festival all about? Koro Festival is about the celebration of the New Year Festival. And the festival itself is presented with many events. We have the Oko Korobo Fest, Korobo Day, where people go to their farm and make new harvest and make pandemic. People invite friends even from neighboring communities to come to their farm and feast with them. This is followed by the Okorogo Day celebration itself. And this, like many who do not want to believe, it's no diet in any way. It's just a way of celebrating a good farm habit, farm youth, farm, farm season. And what I wish I actually celebrate is the Yam Festival. And the Kitiman Yam is our most important staple. We, we can eat Pandel Yam, give us 24 hours a day, and we are good to go. So each time, each, around this time every year, we have this festival come up to celebrate a new harvest season for the yam crop. And as you can see around, a lot of people actually prefer to not see in years And there's always something to look out for in every Okoroko festival. I would like to talk on there for now. Yeah, yeah. It, it, during your, during your, during, um, during the, 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 the brief history where, where we kept here for us, you told us that um, there are actually four quarters that are made up the time. Can, can you just name these quarters, these um, these quarters, and how they all came into being? You know, there's an elderly man we interviewed the other time that told us his own version of the story as well. So I don't know if you can just tell us. You know, in brief, you know, how they just came to In fact, it's a wonderful community. If you check a location on the map, then you can have an idea of how if I play, if I community come to be. The the quarters again are Egu, Ilogwe, Mure, Ilero, and each of the quarters actually they most of them have roads leading to different communities. So if I could be another town. People migrate because of, because of the peculiar location of the town. People migrate from different 
those neighboring communities and as far as they wrote to settle down in the, in the factory. So you may, you, may not be, you may not be surprised to have people in Uwere having more relations in Noye, Aye, Badu, and those neighboring communities. Same for people in Lero, having relationship with people in Uwereko, but the next, the next closest community to the quarter of the town. Same for people in the Lube, they have relations with people in Uwere, and in the Lube, they have boundaries, they share some land. Same for people in the Lube, they have different relationships with other neighboring communities. So that is actually what makes up the only community. And, um, and, um, and today, this is not to be that. Today, the actual D Day itself for the Global Festival. And going down memory lane, or what has been the social the implication, the social impact of the Global Festival on the town, on the people of, of the party land, and, 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 and on the town itself? The Global Festival is a festival which we are not, we have not maximized its many possibilities. Right now, it's mostly mainly for social gatherings. But with that, as time will go on, we can always incorporate many different attributes of festivals we've seen around. With this, it can still be bigger, but we need to actually commend the activities of the current leaders of the community, the KBSC and the Polu Ure in particular, who quarter this festival is actually taking place. They have made many innovations in recent time. And one good thing I want to point out is the actually peace that has been written in some of the festivals of recent years. Some years gone by, we have so many youths.